Hi, Marco here. Let's create our first build pipeline in TeamCity. For that, go to your build configuration, edit it, and have a look at the build steps. At the moment, I have two build steps in my build configuration. First, I'm packaging up a jar file with Maven, Maven Clean Package. And the second build step is taking that jar file and feeding it into the AWS S3 command, essentially copying it to an S3 bucket. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this here. I'm gonna step out of this dialog and I'm gonna delete the command line build step because what I want is not two build steps inside one build configuration slash job. I want two different build configurations slash jobs. And that is why I need to go to my project. Here is my build build configuration. And imagine I'm just gonna copy it now I'm gonna call it deploy. Very simple build pipeline. Now there's just one thing we need to change. Essentially the build step we just copied is the Maven build step. We don't want that also here. We want to recreate our command line build step. So I'm just gonna choose command line here. I'm gonna paste in the command from before. And here I can see, well, my job expects there to be a target directory with the jar file inside the calculator service directory. But the thing is, this is now a completely independent job. It doesn't have a target directory. It doesn't have any other directories, but rather the deploy build configuration needs to get the jar file from the build build configuration, right? And there's a way how you do that in TeamCity. Go to dependencies, and then first of all, add a new snapshot dependency. And you might be a bit confused coming from other build system, build tools. In other build tools, you have step A or job A running, which triggers job B. In Team City, you say you have job B, which has a dependency on job A, right? So your deploy build configuration needs to have a dependency on the build build configuration. Creating snapshot dependencies is one part of having build pipelines. Why is it called snapshot dependency? Because essentially a snapshot dependency Make sure that when a new commit happens and is being pushed to a repository with commit ID, whatever, one, two, three, then the build job is going to run, the deployed job is going to run against that very same commit ID slash snap, snapshot. But we also want to share files between the two build configurations, and that's what you do with artifact dependencies. So you're going to add a new artifact dependency. You're also going to choose the build one. And then what you want to do is click that magic icon here. You actually want to get the jar file, the calculator service jar file from the build configuration. I'm just gonna add a wildcard here, right? I'm gonna save that. And now my deploy build configuration gets that file. Which means we have to adjust our command line script a tiny bit because you're not CDing into a service anymore, right? And in fact, you also don't need the target directory here anymore. It's just a jar file. And that's all you need to do. That's your build pipeline. Let's try and run such a build. Go to the overview page, have a look at build chains, and then let's wait a tiny second till the build runs and finishes. All right, the build is done. You can see we have two green check marks down here. And when you have a look at the deploy build configuration and the build log, you should be able to see once you open up the command line step that in fact, Team City tried to, or not only tried, but did upload the file onto the S3 bucket. So everything worked as expected. That was just a quick intro to build configurations or build pipelines. There's a ton of more stuff to learn in future videos. That's about it. Bye.